Welcome to a Selenium Master Test Automation Crash Course Selenium Python WebDriver Lesson 7 Python Data Structures Section Dictionaries Dictionary is one of the most important data types in Python programming language. In this lesson, I will teach you how to define dictionary variables and do various operations on the dictionary object. Now let's open the project Selenium Python framework. And look at the code dictionary underscore example dot pi. I created a Python file under the data structures folder and name its file as dictionary underscore example dot pi. So in order to create the file, you need to right click on the folder data structures. From this shortcut menu, select new and from the sub menu, choose Python file. Then in the new Python file name field, type dictionary example and click on the OK button, then the file is created. A dictionary allows you to store data with a keyword attached as a matched pair with the data. So dictionary basically the combination of a keyword and value separated by the symbol colon. Before I explain different functions or messages used in dictionary object, I will show you some operations using Python console. So from the tools menu, I open Python console. Now let's define a dictionary. A dictionary should be defined within a curly bracket with keyword value pair. So let's say first dictionary let's say dictionary one dict one equals so curly bracket now I can define username then value is admin then separate with comma and password one two three four so now the dictionary object is defined or the dictionary variable is defined and this dictionary variable dict1 contains two keywords with corresponding values. Please remember that the keyword and value should be separated by colon and when you have multiple items in the dictionary variables, the items should be separated by comma and the variable 
should be defined within the curly bracket. This is how you can define a dictionary variable or object. You can use the function len to return the number of items in a dictionary. Let's say print then len dict1 press enter. So now we have two items in the dict1 so the console output is 2. You can use dict dot iter items function to loop through the items in the dictionary. So let's say we can do for k represents keyword v represents value in dict1 dot iter item is then let's print key and v keyword and value now we press enter again so using this iter item is we printed out the keyword username and password one two three four you can convert a list to a dictionary you can use the function dict parenthesis list and please remember that the list should be separated with comma with the tuple type. In other words, the list must contain at least one two element tuple. The first element in the tuple is a key, second is the value. So let's say I have a list, list1 equals, as you know, we should define list within square bracket. Now tuple is within the parenthesis. Now we should define two elements. So on these two elements, let's say user role then another one is admin. Now the list one has a tuple with two elements. Now I press enter list one is defined now we can convert the list to dictionary so let's say dictionary to equals now we say dict convert list one so now we have dict2 now let's print dict2 so this dictionary object dict2 contains a keyword user role and password uh, for the value admin so now this is how you can convert a list to dictionary 
You can use dict.clear function to remove all items from the dictionary. Let's say dict3 equals dict2.clear. We cleared all items from dict2. Now let's try print dict 3 so dict 3 contains no items the output is none you can use copy function to make a copy of a dictionary let's say we can do dict 4 equals dict 1 to copy we copy the dictionary one we defined earlier. Now let's print dict4. The dictionary four is the same as the dict1 because dict1 has username, admin, password, one, two, three, four. Now we have dict4, username, and password. You can use dict.hasKey function to verify if the key exists in the dictionary. Let's say dict4.hasKey. Now let's check if the dict4 contains key user role now press enter it's false because user role does not exist as a keyword in dict4 now we check username dict4 dot has key now let's try user name so this is true because dict4 has the keyword username. Let's try in another way. dict4 dot has key. Let's try the lowercase username. This is false. Please remember that in dictionary object the key is case sensitive. Now we can use dict.getKey to return a single value by key from the dictionary. Let's say from dict4 we do get then we return the username so this is admin you can use the function dict.items return a list of all key value pairs in a dictionary let's say print dict4.items So we printed out all items as a list. Now this list contains two tuples, username, admin, password, one, two, three, four. You can use the function dict.keys to return a list of all keys from the dictionary. Let's say print dict for dot keys we have two keys username password so the list contains username and password we can use dict dot pop function remove and returns the value of an item 
in the dictionary based on the key provided. If no default is provided, the key does not exist, a key error is raised. That means we can use dict.pop function to remove any keys from the dictionary variable. Let's say from dict4 dot pop let's remove the key username now let's print dict4 now dict4 only contains one key and value originally it had username password two keys We can use dict.setDefault function to return a value from the dictionary key if it exists. If not, the key has a new item with a given default value. This means we can set a default value to a dictionary. We can use dict.update function to update the dictionary with the key value pair provided in the dictionary variable. Let's say dict1 dot update. Then we update this username with administrator because originally the dict1 has username with the value admin. Now we change it. Now dict1 got updated. Let's print dict1 now we have key username value administrator key password value 1234 we can use dict.value function to return a list of all values in the dictionary let's try print dict1.values Now we have value administrator password 1234. So on the result, the first value administrator, second value 1234 in the list items. So in summary, when you define a dictionary object or variable, you can do various operations using the functions defined in Python language. Now let's look at the dictionary example.py file. So I created a class dictionary example as an object. Then here I initialized the object. The first print statement print dictionary example in Python. Second one print dictionary in test. Now third one, I defined an instance variable self.testdict. This dictionary variable contains test case name, value login, test case ID, value one, test case status, value pass, tester, tester1. So we have four keys and four values. Then we print self.testDictItems. We print items in this initialization method. 
So now we use the len function to return the number of items in the dictionary. So I define a method def get dictionary size, then total items equals len self dot test dict. This is how we access the instance variable. Then we print total items in the dictionary, total items, then return total items. Now we can use dict.iterItems function to loop through dictionaries. So I defined a method dev print dictionary items. So for key value in self.test dict.iterItems, then print key and v. So keyword value. Now we use dict parentheses list function to convert a list to a dictionary. So I defined a method, create dictionary from list, then list as a parameter. So now dict one equals dict parentheses list one. So this is how we convert list to a dictionary, then use len function to return the number of items in the dictionary. Total items equals len dict one. Now we print total items in the dictionary R. Total items. This is we print the number of items using the for loop for key value in dict dot iter item is this should be dict one then we print key value and return dict one so next function is dict dot clear I defined a method remove all items in dictionary then total item is before we count the total items using len function and print out total items before clearing the dictionary total items before now we do self dot test dict dot clear we remove all items now use len function to get the size of the dictionary then print out. Now dict.copy function. So I create a method def copy dictionary new dictionary equals self dot test dict.copy. Now for key and value in new dictionary dot iter item is print key value. Now use dict has key function to return if the key exists in the dictionary. So I create a method def verify key exists in dictionary self the parameter is key name. So if self dot test dict dot has key and this key name as a parameter, then print the key name exists and if not print the key does not exist now we use dict.get function to return a single value by key from the dictionary so i define a method get dictionary value by key so key value equals self dot test dict.get key name and now we print the key name and key value now dict.itemis function return a list of all key value pairs in dictionary so i defined a method def return all items in dictionary then print self dot 
test dict item is. This is how we return all items in the dictionary as a list. Now, using dict.keys function to get a list of keys from a dictionary. So I defined a method def get keys from dictionary. So key list equals self dot test dict dot keys. Now we print the list using dict dot pop function to remove and return the value of an item in the dictionary based on the key provided. And if no default is provided, the key does not exist. A key error is raised. So I define a method def remove key from dictionary. The parameter is key name. So self dot test dot pop and key name. Now print self dot test dot items. We print the items. Now we use set default method to return a value from the dictionary if the key exists. If the key does not exist, it enters the key as a new item with the given default value. So I defined a method def set dictionary default key value, then key name and key value. So this is self dot test dict dot set default key name and this second should be key value. Now this is return print self dot test dict dot items. Now use dict dot update function to update the dictionary with the key value pair provided. Now I define a method def update dictionary key name and key value. Now self dot test dict dot update. Remember that when you update the dictionary with key value, you should use the curly bracket, key name, and colon, and key value. Now we use print to print out the items. We can use dict.values function to return a list of all values in a dictionary. So I define a method def get dictionary values, then list values equal self dot test dict dot values then print dictionary values list values so this is how we return all values as a list so in the programming main entry now let's test the messages of the dictionary example so I created an instance dict example equals dictionary example. So now let's execute the first method get dictionary size. Right click on here and click on run dictionary example. So originally we have total items four. So we returned the size of the dictionary. Now let's print dictionary items. I uncomment this line and print again. So dictionary items are test case status, tester, test case name, test case ID. So now let's run another example.
create dictionary from the list. In this method, we pass a list as a parameter and as I indicated, the list should contain at least one tuple with two elements. So this list, we have two tuples. First tuple has name, JSON. Second tuple has gender, male. Now let's execute this line. So total item is in dictionary R2, the dict example. Now we have gender male and name JSON. So now let's execute this one. Remove all items in dictionary. Let's uncomment and rerun. So originally on the dict example, we have four items. Now using remove all items method, we have zero item. So now let's run the method copy dictionary. And this will create a copy of existing dictionary. This is the original dictionary and this is the one after a copy. Now let's do dict example dot verify key exist. We verify if the key test case name exists. We have test case name, so this should return true. Now let's run this. Test case name exists. Yes, it exists. And on this method, if key exists, we print the key name exists. So this is exactly the outcome. Now let's run verify key exist in dictionary again. Here test not exist because we don't have a key named test. Now we get dictionary value by a key. So we can return a value from a key. So run this. We have test case name, login. Now key test case name value is login. Now we return all items in dictionary. We execute, uncomment this line, and run this. Now all items are printed out as a list with multiple tuples. Now get keys from dictionary. Now let's print all dictionaries from the dictionary object. Now we have test case status, tester, test case name, test case ID, all dictionaries. Now we remove key from dictionary. Let's remove the one tester. Originally, we had four keys with corresponding values. After removing the key tester, we only have three. Test case status, test case name, and test case ID. Now, we use set default value. We set test case name as a user. So we execute this line. Now the test case status pass and password uh, for the tester, tester one, test case name login, test case ID one. And because the test case name exists, so it did not do anything. Now let's try this one, test node.
So we don't have test node in the key list. So using this set dictionary default key value, this value test node and user node is entered as an additional item for the dictionary object. So test node and user node. Now we have five items in the dictionary. Now let's run this update dictionary. We update the test node as user node. We just add a space. Now let's execute this line. So originally it was test node key value is user node without space. Now after using update, we have user node with space. Now let's run the line, print all values in the dictionary object. So dict dot dict underscore example dot get dictionary values. Now we print. Now we have values pass tester one login one. So this is how you can use dictionary data structure or data type in Python programming language.